In this tutorial, we look at the command functions in queues. By means of commands, you can trigger several queue lists at the same time. Dim masters, adjust the speed and fade masters, and start, stop, switch on and off, and reset timecode. You can add a command to any queue list. To add a command, you must first program a queue. This queue can contain fixtures and parameter values, but this is not absolutely necessary. A queue can also be stored empty. Once saved, you can use the horizontal scroll bar to navigate the commands column. Select the cell of the queue you want to add command to. In the pop-up, you can adjust several settings. You can choose to put multiple commands in a queue. Append line adds a new command line. Insert line adds a new command line between two existing lines or before the selected command line. Edit line edits the selected command line. Delete line deletes the selected command line. Move up, down moves the selected command line up or down. Pressing a pen line adds a new command line. Then a pop-up window opens and you can edit the entries for the command. Under type, you can choose which master timecode or queue list this command will affect. Action is the action the command executes on the assigned master, timecode or queue list. Depending on what is selected under type, the parameters on the second and third lines change. When the type queue list is selected, you are given a series of actions that the console can perform on the chosen queue list. Once the type queue list is selected, you can use the queue list drop down menu to choose the queue list to be triggered by the command. The actions for the queue list are covered in detail in another tutorial. For information on all the different typed actions, please refer to the relevant tutorial. If you choose the Type Master Dimmer, you can switch the Grand Master on and off via the Toggle Blackout action. The Type Master Speed lets you adjust the different parameters of a master speed. Under Actions, you can choose from the following actions. Tap Sync allows you to adapt the speed of the master speed to your tapping speed. The master speed takes over your tap speed. Increase, decrease, multiply and divide time allow you to adjust the time of the master speed to preset or chosen values. Manual go allows you to give a manual go to the master speed. Toggle Enable, Enable and Disable, Enable or Disable the Automatic Go function for the master speed. By disabling the master speed, you can use the manual go and manually step through all the link chases. Via the master menu, you can choose which of the three master speed groups you want to address. The master fade type is very similar to the master speed function. Through this function, you can adjust the fade times between the queues of the linked queue list. If you select the timecode function, you can control the internal timecode generator through commands. Toggle Enable, Enable and Disable, Enable or Disable the timecode. Reset Generator resets the timecode generator to the selected start time. In this example, we will use Q1 of QList3 as the queue where the command should be triggered.
In the commands, we will program two actions. Action 1 is an off command to QList 1 for Fader 10, and a divide time by 2 for Master Speed 1 or Special Fader 1. Press QList 3. Scroll with the horizontal scroll bar to column commands. Select cell and press set. Press a pen line and under QList, select QList 1. Under Action, select the Off command. Confirm the settings by pressing OK. Add another line by pressing Append line. Under Type, choose Master Speed. Under Action, choose Divide Time. Enter 2 at the Division factor. At Master, choose Master Speed 1 and confirm by pressing OK. Close the command window and give Fader 9 a go. Fader 10 now receives an off command and will release itself. The time value of Master Speed 1 or Special Master 1 is now divided by 2. Commands can be started with a delay. To enter the delay time for commands, scroll to the Command Delay column, select the cell and press Set. Now enter the delay times for the commands. Thanks for watching.